What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. I am Jay and today we are going over the Fibonacci Fibonacci sequence and Fibonacci uh, retracement and how to use it when trading. Um, this is a very common uh, tool that's used in technical analysis. Um, to find support and resistance levels so this will be something cool to to learn and to incorporate into your technical analysis and trading uh, i use this very often when looking for entries and stuff like that so uh, i'm gonna show you guys how to use it how it works a little bit of history behind it and that's basically it all right guys let's jump right into it how to use Fibonacci. So the first thing is, who was Fibonacci? Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. Fibonacci popularized the Hindu Arabic numeral system in the Western world primarily through his composition in 1202 of Liber Abaci, or Book of Calculation. He also introduced Europe to the sequence of Fibonacci numbers, which he used as an example in Liber Abaci. So what are Fibonacci retracement levels? In trading, Fibonacci retracement is a method of technical analysis for determining support and resistance levels. They are named after their use of the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci retracement is based on the idea that markets will retrace a predictable portion of a move after which they will continue in the original direction. Fibonacci retracement levels connect any two points that the trader views as relevant, typically a high point and a low point. Each level is associated with a percentage. The percentage is how much of a prior move the price has retraced. The percentage levels provided are areas where the price could stall or reverse. The Fibonacci retracement levels are 23.6%, 38.2%, 61.8%, 78.6% and 78.6%. While not officially a Fibonacci ratio, 50% is also used. However, remember that these levels should not be relied on exclusively. There is nothing to calculate when it comes to the Fibonacci retracement levels. They are simply percentages of whatever price range is chosen. However, the origin of the Fibonacci numbers is fascinating. They are based on something called the Golden Ratio. Start a sequence of numbers with 0 and 1, then keep adding the prior two numbers to get a number string like this. The Fibonacci retracement levels are all derived from this number string. After the sequence gets going, dividing one number by the next yields 0.618 or 61.8%. Divide a number by the second number to its right and the result is 0.382 or 38.2%. All the ratios except for 50% since it's not an official Fibonacci number are based on some mathematical calculation involving this number string. Interestingly, the golden ratio of 0.618 or 1.618 is found in sunflowers, galaxy formations, shells, historical artifacts, and architecture. You can even find it on our dear president. So what do Fibonacci retracement levels tell you? Fibonacci retracement levels can be used to find entries, determine stop loss levels, and set price targets. For example, let's take a look at this Bitcoin chart. These green horizontal lines represent each Fibonacci level. If we look on the left, we will see the 23.6%, 38.2%, 50%, 61.8%, 78.6%, 78.6%, 68.6% levels. You will notice that I started this at the low point and extended it to its highest point. I've been using these Fibonacci levels to find support and resistance levels which in return helps me find good risk reward trades. Let's take a look at how the price has been responding and reacting at each of these price levels. So if we take a look over here this is where we started the move and then this was its highest peak. So we take the Fibonacci retracement tool, we start it down here, and we take it all the way up here to the highest peak. Then we start looking for different areas of the retracement where we could find some support and resistance and plan our trades accordingly. So 
as you can see here, once it started taking taking off back down, um, the price reacted at this first level, which is 23.6%. So there was a lot of price action going on there before it violated that support. Once it violated that support, it dropped down and look at this, look exactly where it bounced. It bounced at the 38.2% zone. So that made it the price go right back up. And as, as it hit the 23.6% zone again, we had a little bit more price action here. You see how this was kind of indecisive. It kind of bounced back. And then we were able to uh, violate it and go up. So after breaking out, though this kind of was a fake breakout, um, it dropped it right back down. We violated that price again. So that's where you get the big red one. But we hit right here, right at this 38.2%. We bounced yet again. It moved back up a little bit. Once it opened on the next one, the next day, it we completely violated that. And um, we just went all the way down. So um, after a few days of bouncing, you'll see the range that it's bouncing in. It's literally bouncing right in between two Fibonacci levels right so we're looking at the 78.6 percent and the 61.8 percent levels the this the bitcoin was trading in this range so during this time me and my team we were taking trades in this range we we're taking scalps we're entering trades as close to 9800 as possible so anything in the 9800 zone we were we were buying up and then we're taking profits at the 10,000 zone. So around 10,000 and 10,200 to 300, we were is where we were taking profits. Um, once it, we reach this zone again, you'll see all this price action that started happening before a breakout occurred. Um, notice on the breakout, we topped off at this Fibonacci level of 50%, which is also 10,770. Um, so you'll see you saw some price action there. And then we broke out through that. Once we hit that breakout, then notice the next resistance, 38.2% again. So we've met back up with this 38.2% that gave that served as a support on these in this side. It served as support here, and it served as a resistance and support here. Now, since we're here again at this level, it is now serving as a resistance, which is why we got rejected here and it took us right back down to this level of 61.8%. So currently we're at the 61.8% and as you can see here, the price has been holding here and bouncing back up. Price is currently at 10,500. So a good entry would be here at 10,000, around 10,400. That is around the price that you would wanna enter. And then your target would be around 10,800 or 10,769 is the exact number. But remember, these are always zones. They are never exact numbers. They're just zones, all right? Um, so if you look here, the way I would set up my trade is I would enter at 10,400. I would probably put a stop loss around $50 to $100 um, away from where my entry price is. So that gives me a stop of around probably 10,300 ish um, or 10,350. Um, and then my target is going to be right up here, which is around 10,800 level. So that is exactly how I would use the Fibonacci levels to plan out my trade. Fibonacci levels also arise in other ways within technical analysis. For example, they are prevalent in Gartley patterns and Elliott wave theory. After a significant price movement up or down, these forms of technical analysis find that reversals tend to occur close to certain Fibonacci levels. Fibonacci retracement levels are static prices that do not change unlike moving averages. These levels are always a point of interest where some price action is expected, either a reversal or a break. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got a lot out of it and you really um, it helped you really understand how Fibonacci works, how the Fibonacci retracement tool works um, and how you can use it to your advantage to give yourself an edge when you're looking for a trade. 
um and that's pretty much it guys that is the video for today let's go ahead and move my face out the way so we can do the question of the day so as you guys know every video we will have a random question about something in the video question is always something random in a random area of the video find the question and find the answer post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month's membership to our trading room winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes this number changes as we grow good luck guys so question of the day is which level in the Fibonacci retracement tool is not an official Fibonacci number all right guys that is it i appreciate you guys appreciate the support make sure to please subscribe hit the follow button hit the like on all the videos um and that's basically it man we will see you guys tomorrow i am out peace and love